Hi, and welcome to Hoffman's Hot Seat. I'm Tom Hoffman with One to One Media. Joining me today is Sasha Peterson, President of the Enrollment Management Technology Division at Hobson's. Today we'll be discussing CRM trends in higher education. Sasha, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Tom. Sasha, what are the key factors you're seeing that are driving CRM trends in higher education? Well, I think there's really two primary drivers that we're seeing. Uh, the first has been around for the last couple of years, which is really about shaping their enrollment and trying to find the right mix of students for their class. Increasingly, schools are less concerned with just getting the right numbers in their class, but so they use things like CRM to help target the right mix of students as part of the recruiting process. But increasingly, schools that are already using it on the recruitment and enrollment side are beginning to think about how CRM can play on the retention or student success side. And so to do this, they not only need a CRM that's capable of managing basic information, contact information, but also touching that student across their entire student life cycle. And so I think that's really where the future of CRM is, is looking beyond just enrollment where it's been traditionally but then looking into student success, retention, and then over time, how CRM can really be a core tool across the entire campus. What specific types of functionality are academic administrators looking for in CRM systems these days? There's a lot of things I think that CRM can offer a individual, and obviously increasingly there's a lot of different CRM vendors out there. What we're seeing is that there's sort of a baseline expectation that there are certain functionalities that any CRM has to have to get into a door. So things like processing your letters and your emails and a web portal, things like that are just assumed. Increasingly, people are looking at how CRM can also influence the social web, and so a lot of vendors are beginning to provide interfaces into things like Facebook or LinkedIn or even Twitter. I think the extent to which the CRM actually impacts that is still really being figured out. It's early stages. I don't think anyone really knows how something like Twitter will look like in a year from now. Facebook's getting a little bit more solid, and so people are beginning to really use that as a new communications channel, and I think that's a pretty important thing as well. So that's kind of the broadcast functionality people are looking for. I think one of the key things that's really beginning to be prominent as a requirement as well is the ability for the tool to be used across the entire student life cycle and across the entire campus. So while typically and historically vendors were looking at a departmental installation and it was the admissions office, say, that was doing it to recruit students like we were talking about, now people are saying, well, that's kind of an assumption. You're going to have to do that because that's the core constituency. But we want to make sure that if we're evaluating new tools, we're getting one that's got the capacity to look beyond just the admissions office, but into student services, into student success, into alumni relations. And then some people are getting even more creative than that and beginning to look at CRM as a way to manage literally every communication. So imagine a world where from the first time you inquire from there through the application, through the enrollment, while you're there, and then even through buying sports tickets and then being solicited for donations down the line, all being in one system. And so that allows them to really mine the data and figure out new interesting ways to communicate with you based on that. So that's really, I think, where it's going is how to get it across the entire campus. Can you tell us how colleges and universities leverage CRM systems to help them to target and retain the best student prospects? Yeah, that's really a, a great question. I think ultimately what it's all about and what we try to tell people is that the CRM is really just a tool. And the only way you're going to successfully target and retain your best students is having a strategy behind the tool. And I always like to make the point that CRM is an acronym that often has a lot of different definitions and constituent relationship, client relationship is often one that's used. I like to think about it more of a relevance term, so constituent relevance management. And I think that's really the key is if you can identify a strategy that gets the right information to the right people at the right time, that's what's going to be most effective in targeting students from the inquiry stage to application and then ultimately getting them to succeed as a student at your campus. And so it's not just about kicking out generic letters on a regular basis, which is what I think people often think of when they think of CRM, but it's really one that allows you to define exactly what the message is at the right time. So in other words, if it's financial aid season, you get them information about that. If it's application season, you get them information about that. But I think equally importantly is looking at the behavioral trends about how they're interacting with those messages. So if you're sending them an email, they're not reading it, then the CRM should be able to tell you that's not a very effective communications tool and change the mediums. And similarly, if you're doing phone campaigns and you can always get a hold of them and they respond based on that, then again, you should be shifting that strategy, not just as a generic university one, but what the power of CRM is, what the power of this kind of analytical tool is, is allowing you to take a very broad strategy and then continually refine it down to an actual individual student, and that's the way it's going to be successful. So a lot of times we see people coming in and thinking CRM is some silver bullet that's going to solve all their problems, and I can't be 
be more clear that it's not. If you don't have a strategy behind that CRM, it's just not going to work. And so that's really the key is getting campus buy-in, getting a good constituent group of people thinking about what they want to communicate with and then translating that into a CRM system, which, like I said, is easy to use and something that can be used across the entire campus. Well, Sasha, thanks so much for sharing your insights and your experiences with us today. Tom, my pleasure, and thanks again for having me. To learn more about relationship strategy, visit www.1to1media.com.